Yo yo, we are back in After Effects And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this crazy 3D bullet effect that I like to call I actually did this effect on a video that I recently dropped It's super fire So I'm gonna show you how to do this Before getting to the video, I just wanna let you know I just dropped my ultimate 3D title bundle Which comes with my latest pack, 3D decks and title preset And one of my OG pack, the 3D title pack you already know The bundle allows you to add some crazy easy title for your music video in just few clicks and also when you buy the bundle it's 28 dollar off so it's a steal for real i'll link it in the description if you want to check it out back to the video so in here in my composition you can see this normal clip but i have this like chopped up already so the sense behind topping these clips is right here i'm gonna have a slow-mo and bullet going popping right here in the left side so it will have that effect going on on this big chunk and after that it will just transition into the normal clip like that so firstly to start off i will add a twister onto my chopped up clip and hit the stopwatch in the speed and go few frame forward and you can just set it to 30 so you have the slow-mo going on and after the slow-mo it should cut through the normal footage like something like that also if you don't know how to use twister i recently made a video on it i'll link it on the icons or the description if you want to check it out that video will help you to create like those smooth twister slow mode that you see everybody doing but anyways now we're gonna add a solid solid a black solid and trim it till here to the part where i want the bullet be on let's just extend it on the end because i want like the bullet to transition through as well so firstly i'm gonna add an element into this if you don't or you know element is a plugin which allows us to add some 3d objects into our scene easily inside of after effects so we will go to scene setup now and you will see this new setup so for the bullet 3d model i'm going to use projectile weapons from video copilot it's totally dope if you don't have projectile weapons you can just head over to sketchfab and search like bullet uh let's just search a bullet right there and you should see all of these free models in here you can download for free like this one is really cool let me show you yeah this model is really cool i really like this so you can download it from here from the download model but i'm gonna use one from the projectile weapons so i think i'm gonna use this model right here which is called which is called 55 millimeter group you can use this exact model if you have eli shaders but anyways let's just quit out of here by hitting ok and in our scene you should see your bullet right here and so now we'll start the animation and stuff so to do that i'm gonna open up my group on fx control and go to group utilities and here you can see a option called create group null just hit create on there and it should create a null which is directly linked to your bullet model like that you can see if i like rotate it the bullets also rotates so it's like a cool trick to do animations because if you do it like on element and go over to group particle look and do it from there it's like really complicated and confusing but this right here makes the whole process really simple but enough of talking i'm gonna rotate it like something like that maybe on the x rotation as well also put it at the side on the left side and rotate it more something like that so something like that looks really cool so after that to animate it i'm gonna hit p to bring up the position and hit the stop button there also i'm gonna bring up all the rotation and animate the x y and g then you can go over to the beginning and push the bullet like out of your scene maybe something like that also you can hit the stopwatch in the scale as well and play with the like scale it down in the beginning so it like comes in like that and you can animate the rotation of it something like a z rotation like a one cycle on it would look really dope maybe i'm gonna extend the keyframe of it and just select all your keyframe easy is those and you can select all of those and head over the graph and make sure you in speed graph and create a tight graph something like that so it happens like really fast as you can see that makes our animation so smooth right now and now we're gonna create the ending animations so right where you transition to this footage and push the position of it more to us this side so it like comes in like the left side at first and slides into the right side if that makes sense maybe you can also mess with the position also you can mess with the scale of it so it like scales in as it goes and once again same with the g rotation but i'm gonna set the value on minus for now and then you can just head over to graph now 
and make the same graph for this or uh, maybe maybe i'm gonna go to position separately like there for the position and same for the scale and same for the rotation as well so after that we'll have this rough animation done still think the animation is too slow for me so i'm gonna like extend this keyframe towards over here and now we'll have this like rough animation to start off with so now we'll start adding all of those effects and making it more cooler so firstly select your black solid with which your element effect on and go over to the effects control and go over to custom layers on the element and in custom texture max set it as your footage layer which is footage 4 and for the source you can set it like effect and max and then head over to the scene setup again and now in the environment you can choose your footage as the environment so it like matches the lighting of it as you can see the reflection is matched perfectly now after that you can head over to render settings now and in lighting you can play with like different preset on here like 360 maybe like product or you can go through here and look what works the best for you for me right now i think cinema works the best so let's just go with cinema and then to add those shadows and stuff we're gonna go over to ambient occlusion enable that and and you can just play with the intensity of it like the intensity radius as well if you like or you can also set it to like ray trace which would take a lot more export time but you can do it if you have like a really good computer but i'm gonna keep it default for now then after that i like to head over to motion blur and turn that on so we have that like beautiful motion blur going on i really love and now we are done with all of those like 3d stuff so to top it off i'm gonna add some effects onto this so let's just add the adjustment layer into here and firstly i'm gonna add a sick from my sick pack so let it load for a second and head over to animation preset go over to youtube preset and you will see my sick pack if you download it i'm gonna use the sd one and from the sd i'm gonna use hyper sick let's just add it onto our clip and for the sf5 warp puddle i'm gonna set the anchor point towards the corner so the impact happens on the corner with and of course and of course i'm gonna lower down the amount of it and i think i'm gonna remove all of the sake from there and for the sake i'm gonna add another adjustment layer and add the best one on it i guess it looks really cool with like the puddle and the best one like sauce is up and as you can see after that sake the impact that it adds is crazy like you can see it on the real time bro it looks really cool now and i'm gonna add another adjustment layer before my chopped up clip and chop it to its length like that and add like a hotspot effect on it from sapphire and you can mess with the amount of it like something like that but you can put it over your solid if you like as well yeah that's pretty cool i like that and on the same adjustment layer you can add like a sapphire green as well lower down the color amplitude and bring up the black and white amplitude for it and you can just mess with the frequency like something like that and now to top it all off we're gonna add a glow onto our bullet layer so a uh, normal optical glow and you can play with the highlights only and bring up the size of it and lower down the amount and set it to extended almost to get back your background and a little rsmb on it as well before optical go for sure and in your background clip as well you can add like a fast box blur when the bullet comes in so like a fast box blur so it's like blurry at the start and goes back to like normal focus and lastly we're gonna add another adjustment layer and right where it transitions we're gonna add an exposure transition like a simple exposure keyframe like amount to two and set it back to zero normal so we have the flash when it transitioned to the normal clip so finally at the end our effect looks something like this so if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and sadly this is the last day of my daily uploads but i'll be uploading consistently on the channel so don't worry and we're gonna pump out more quality tutorials on august as well so i'm super hyped for next month as well so yeah see you in next video peace